Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hina with Miss Hina's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm going to be taking you to the Cargo Connect table, and I have a question for you. Do you feel it's worth it to trade certain things in your missions? So today, what I want to do is, you know, offer you a suggestion on would you trade the chicken for extra points? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're going to have to stay with me. Hina Lego Robotics. Oh. Okay, so here's what I mean. I'm gonna go over to the Cargo Connect table and you guys get 10 points if your chicken is upright and in the circle. The question for today is, do you think it's wise to trade those 10 points if you can get more points doing something that that chicken kind of prevents you from doing from before? So what I wanna do is better explain that when we get to the table, so let's go. Okay, so here is the chicken, and no, it has nothing to do with Cargo Connect. I don't know, unless you guys can figure out a connection. So the chicken is here basically to just make things tough. It makes it tough for you guys to do your large delivery, your home delivery. So the question today is, because you guys get 10 points if you don't touch this chicken, it stays upright, stays in the circle, would it be worth it to trade, which means to push this out of the way, if we can get more points? So let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, yes, our wind turbine got destroyed, stolen. I don't know what happened, so I had to recreate this. But here is the, the turbine here. So the plan, and thank you to the tech warriors for this idea, is for the robot to slide this along here and rest on this blue holder here. But in the process, we're gonna to have to knock this chicken out of, out of position. So what we wanna do is, yes, we are giving up the 10 points for the chicken not being in the circle, but we are gonna gain 10, you know, 20 points for this turbine blade being on this blue holder here. And then what I thought we could also do is now use this circle to put another container inside because you guys know that every circle that has a container completely in it, you'll get that 10 bonus. So what I want to do today is just show you my thinking and show you the math. And you guys can let me know in the comments section if you think this is worth it. Okay, thanks again to the Tech Warriors for this idea. But we have the turbine here propped up against the wood here. And so my robot will back up. I have a little attachment here in the front that will help just push it. Yes, we will knock out this chicken, but we will put the turbine here on this, the blue holder here. You probably wouldn't do this until you're clear of the area, because I'm not sure exactly where this chicken will end up. And then we'll come back to the launching area, and then I'll show you what to do about the circle. So let's check this out. Okay, we didn't necessarily knock out that chicken in too bad of a position. Okay, so we have this turbine and it is resting on the blue holder there. So that would be the 20 points. So that's 20 points that we would not have had if we didn't utilize this turbine blade here. So now let's go ahead and figure out what to do now with this robot and this empty circle now. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about your containers now and why this empty circle right there that the chicken used to be in, why that's gonna help us get more points. So let's do this hypothetical situation here where let's say that you guys are putting all of your gray containers plus your hinge container into this circle here, completely in. So let's do the math. That is 10, 20, 30, 40, and because this circle has at least one container, this is 50 points. So let's get the math right on that, right? 50 points. But let's take that 50 points and now change the scenario. So now let's move this blue container to this circle here. Now let's do the math. This is going to be 10 plus another 10 because this circle has a container in it. So that's 20. Now let's come back to this one here. 10, 20, 30, because this has uh, a 
container in it, that's going to now be worth 40. So 40 plus 20, we got 60 points now instead of just the 50 that we would have had if that blue container or the hinged one was just, um, you know, it, we, it was in this circle with everything else. So if we do the math right now, we, again, sacrifice the chicken. It was 10, but look what we got in return. We got this turbine blade here, which is worth 20. And if we can get this extra 10 in here, now, you know, we will subtract the 10 from this chicken. So we get 20 and then we get 10 here and then a 10 here. That's 40. Okay, and if we minus the chicken here, that's 10 points off of that. So we would get 30 points even though we sacrificed the chicken. Okay, guys, so you can see the math in front of you. You can see what the difference would be. Um, and that's why, again, it's called a robot game. There's so much strategy involved when you can do the math and figure out, hey, what can we do in this situation? Or like we did today, what can we do if we trade up and, and sacrifice the chicken for other points? So, you know, it's just one of those things where you got to just figure it out. And, you know, it, it's a smart idea if you even spread out your containers to even more circles. Because if I put more containers into that green circle, now I get those extra added circle points than if I combine them in just to one circle. So definitely check your rules on the Cargo Connect, you know, those circle rules, because if you spread out your containers, you'll end up getting more per container than if you put them all into one. But, you know, at the end of the day, you and your team have to sit down and do the math and figure out what's best for your team. Because again, obviously, you know, if I move that chicken, I have I now have issues with maybe the home delivery. So maybe make that last or, you know, if you're doing the accident avoidance, maybe second to last. So there's just so many possibilities. It's kind of cool to think about, but I'm going to leave that up to your team. OK. All right, guys. So it's food for thought today. Give me a comment if you know you have any thoughts about what I just did today. But other than that, I am Mr. Hino from Mission's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.